Welcome back, true believers and all you spectacular Spidey fans, to another very exciting episode of Marvel Spider-Man 2 101. And by the time this video releases, I for one couldn't be happier to say that Marvel Spider-Man 2 is officially out. And being able to simply say that sentence is absolutely surreal. It's truly been the journey of a lifetime ever since the game was initially revealed all the way back in September of 2021. And even longer if you've ended up counting from the very first first initial inception of my YouTube channel all the way back in 2016. So having been able to go on this seven year long journey with every single one of you out there has genuinely been a life changing experience for me. But never fear because this journey is just getting started. Where not only can you expect a boatload amount more of Marvel's Spider-Man 2 content headed your way soon, alongside of knowing that we also have Marvel's Wolverine to look forward to from Insomniac in the future too, but the main topic of the discussion for today's video is that Insomniac games themselves seem to have straight up teased the notion of a potential Venom spin-off game coming in the future. And even though Marvel's Spider-Man 2 literally just launched today, it just goes to show that Insomniac games never stops cooking. So if all that sounds incredibly exciting to you, then definitely be sure to flip that like button and subscribe to the channel for any major Marvel Spider-Man 2 news and other exciting Marvel games content in the future. So to jump into the news right away, is that we do have two separate Marvel Spider-Man 2 articles to fully dissect here. The first of which is an exclusive scoop coming straight from the mouths of Insomniac Games themselves that does originate from the Insider.com. As for the second article, this one was published directly by Marvel.com themselves and does take the opportunity to fully interview Tony Todd and Bill Roseman. However, some of the points within both of these articles do relate more towards the development process of the game rather than actually discussing more about what this news is in particular. So if you do want to read through the entirety of these articles, I will make sure to leave a link to both of them in the description below. But for the context of this video, I'm mainly going to highlight the most important points within each of these articles. Where to kick things off right with a social media post that does come directly from Iamon Jacobs, who is in fact a junior entertainment reporter at TheInsider.com, he did post online yesterday by stating, with Marvel Spider-Man 2 finally arriving on PS5 tomorrow, I spoke to the game's senior narrative director about casting Tony Todd as the slimy symbiote, and asked whether fans can expect a Venom spin-off game. And to directly quote the Insomniac Games senior narrative director himself of John Paquette, he does go on to say that when talking about Marvel Spider-Man 2, is that I want this to be one of the best Venom stories you've ever experienced. We'll see what the reviewers have to say. But most importantly is that when John was asked about the possibility of a Venom spin-off game in the same vein as 2020's Spider-Man Miles Morales, Paquette said that they're waiting to see the reaction from fans. And as he iterates, so here's what we're doing. We're focused on Spider-Man 2, and what we're gonna do is we're gonna wait to see how the fans react. We're gonna listen to the fans, and we're gonna ask ourselves, okay, what do the fans really want? We'll kind of talk about stuff after we've all had time to sleep and take vacations, which is absolutely understandable in more ways than one. Now, just to let you all know ahead of time is that yesterday on October 19th, PlayStation and Insomniac were kind enough to send me an early access copy of Marvel's Spider-Man 2, which I have personally been playing for the last 24 hours. And while we all obviously know that Venom is going to be in Marvel Spider-Man 2, I personally do not know yet whether or not Venom is going to be playable within the game itself. But if it does turn out to be the case that Venom is playable in Marvel Spider-Man 2, then I don't think that there's any chance in hell that we don't end up receiving a completely standalone spin-off Venom game sometime in the future. But on the flip side, considering that we still have Marvel's Wolverine to look forward to, to, I'm not exactly sure how the development process would work for Insomniac if they do decide to make a Venom spin-off game, and whether or not they may end up releasing it either before or after Marvel's Wolverine releases later in the next couple years, which in my honest opinion will most likely be sometime in late 2025. Although I can already hear some of you asking is that if we were actually to receive a fully standalone Venom game, who or what would actually be the villains of this title? And based on this statement from John Paquette himself, I definitely think that there is a lot of exciting things to look forward to. Whereas the article states is that Paquette said the team behind Spider-Man 2 drew inspiration from Venom's story comic book history, which could also serve as inspiration for a Venom-centric story. Whereas Paquette describes, man, 
I remember as a kid being in my friend's bedroom reading Secret Wars and seeing the origin of the black suit. We went from there all the way to the crazy Null and Clintar kind of stuff. There's such a rich universe there, and there's a lot that the comics have done. We tried to take all that in, and then forget about it and think about what would be best for our characters and our franchise. So I think it's safe to say that being able to physically play as Venom in his own AAA standalone spin-off game would simply be a dream come true. But for the case of John Paquette is that the question isn't about whether or not it would be fun to play, but whether or not it would be something that the players would want to engage in, and whether or not they would be able to tell a story within the game that would make sense. And seeing that we already got a couple of direct references to Null and the Quintar, it really just goes to continue showing just how invested Insomniac are within Spider-Man's lore as well as Venom's. And I'm pretty darn sure that every single Venom fan on the planet would have the exact same answer if they were to be asked who should the main villain be of the potential Venom spinoff game. And in my eyes, there's no better answer other than Carnage. Just like what we were able to experience all the way back in 2005 with the Ultimate Spider-Man video game, if we were able to play as Insomniac's version of Venom going up against their own unique twist on the Carnage character, that would be an absolutely unreal experience. And as a bonus, considering that Marvel's Wolverine is more than likely going to have a solid M rating, I do think the only way that a standalone Venom game could be justified is if that title were to also receive a solid M rating as well. Even though Venom's moveset and overall combat style was pretty ballistic in the Ultimate Spider-Man video game, merely imagining what playing as Venom would look like in a completely M rated Marvel game would pretty much feel like playing Prototype all over again, which I am 110% hoping for. But keep in mind that a Venom spin-off game has not been officially confirmed by Insomniac just yet. And if anything, we're just going to have to wait and see as to what the general public thinks about Marvel Spider-Man 2 before we can even think about a potential Venom spin-off coming down the line. Although, in my opinion, I'm pretty much 90% sure at this point that it will eventually happen. And if it does, I'm going to lose my freaking mind. Now moving on to the second article, which does come directly from Marvel games themselves, it does iterate that Be Greater Together takes on a whole different meaning when Venom is involved. Marvel Spider-Man 2 Venom actor Tony Todd explains the appeal of the iconic alien symbiote. Now again, if you do want to read the entire article for yourself, I will leave a link for it in the description below. But for the context of this video, I'm mainly going to highlight exactly what Tony as well as Bill Roseman had to say about Venom. Whereas Tony freaking Todd says himself is that I think Venom is one of the coolest Marvel characters ever created. Every time I think of going in and recording him, I'm smiling all the way from Arena Del Rey to Burbank and I can't wait to step into the booth. I think when people play this game, there's going to be different sides. Of course people are rooting for Spider-Man and Miles, but I think there's going to be a whole section of people that are saying, well, what can Venom do and why do I like him? Because he's just doing it with abandon. And to segue right into the Vice President and Executive Creative Director of Marvel Games himself of Bill Roseman, he says, that's right, Tony brought up a good point, that some people just love Venom. We always think, what is the reason for that? Well, amazing design, but then there's all the themes that the creators who created them and all the additional stories were thinking about with what does this character mean and what kind of stories can we use to explore different themes. So what we talk about a lot is there's the darkness within Venom, but also what's cool is his single-mindedness. And as both Tony and Bill beautifully put it, is that Venom is such a richly layered and complex character that they'd pretty much be leaving money on the table if they were to not inevitably make a standalone spin-off game. Especially if you're casting someone as talented as Tony Todd to play Venom, then you better believe that they're going to be wanting to use Tony for as long as they possibly can. And if that means that he's down to once again voice Venom in his own standalone spin-off game, then you can sign me all the way up as well. In the end, everybody, even with Marvel Spider-Man 2 officially releasing worldwide today, it still is extremely extremely exciting to talk about the future of where Insomniac Spider-Man franchise will go next. And as I've stated before, this isn't the end of the journey, it's only the beginning. And I for one just can't wait to see where this journey will take us next. But with all that said everybody, that's the video I have for all you today, and please let me know all your thoughts in the comments section down below. On a scale of 1 to 10, how badly would you want Insomniac Games to make a completely
completely standalone AAA Venom spin-off game. And like Marvel's Wolverine, would you want this potential Venom game to also be M-rated? Let me know what you think, be sure to leave a like on the video, and subscribe to the channel if you did enjoy, and for more Marvel Spider-Man 2 videos like this in the future. Thank you all so much for watching, stay spectacular Spidey fans, and until next time, peace out. <laughs>